Hello everybody and welcome to another five cool cards series. Today we're going to be talking about five cool cards for this man over here, Mr. Harvey Walters. Harvey Walters is one of the starter deck investigators and like the Nathaniel Cho deck last week or two weeks ago at this point, I don't even know. Uh, we're only going to be we're going to be including cards not from the investigator decks to give you kind of offer all over the the game. Harvey Walters, he is a four brain, five book, one fist, two foot, seven damage, eight horror, seeker investigator with the miskatonic trait. Uh, as a reaction, after an investigator at your location draws one or more cards from their deck during the investigation phase, that investigator draws one card. Limit once per round, and the Elder Sign effect is plus one, draw one card. Let's, uh, a big thing before we get into Harvey Walters is... Uh, you can't talk about Harvey Walters without talking about his Thrice Damned Curiosity. That's the name of the card, right? Mm. Yep. There it is. So this is, uh, for every three cards in your hand, you take one damage. That's, uh, pretty... Can be pretty bad, especially when you're holding uh, a lot of cards. Like, you're holding <laughs> your eight hard maximum hand size. Assuming you haven't increased in any way, that represents, uh, two damage. Which, uh, can be a little mm, bit chunky. So I mean, bad, he, but... he is, like has seven like he does have a lot he is built for it. he's a very sturdy old man but we're gonna talk about ways to get your hand size even bigger so your thrice stamp your curiosity deals even more damage um <laughs> and then you just shrug it off these are our cool cards today starting with one that has nothing to do with that but let's dive right in we got barricade this is an insight and tactic from the core set uh zero cost event commits for a brain a book and a foot Attached to your location, not only enemies cannot move into attached location. When an investigator leaves attached location, you discard barricade. Brian, why is this one on our list? So this one is kind of a placeholder for cards like this that have a fairly narrow effect, but are very strong when you can make them do their thing. Mostly in that uh, for Harvey Walters, cards as a resource are much cheaper than they are for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Because every time you spend an action drawing your card, well, not every time, but the first time you do, you can just get two instead. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, gods forbid that uh, you get to draw cards other ways. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is more like, like you, can, you can just hold on to some of, these, uh, some of these more situational cards in your hand until such a point in time where they are good. And then uh, yeah, you can surprise your teammates by appearing to be prepared for every possible outcome, yeah. uh, every possible situation. Yeah. When in fact, really, all you did was put barricade and <laughs> just yeah, one of barricade like in your deck. deck. Yeah. <laughs> just, and then you're just like, oh, thank God I drew this. Now I look like a genius. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like also, barricade does have a lot of uh, ability, especially like when you get to the climax of a campaign, and you're like, no. Right? Like, yeah. these dudes have been chasing us the whole scenario. They can just wait outside. Yeah, maybe, maybe these hunter enemies can't move in here while we're fighting Ermordoth. Or, yeah, exactly. You know, what have you. All right. Next on our list, we got Dream Enhancing Serum. So this is from the Dream Eater cycle. It's a three-cost asset that takes up a spell slot, commits for a brain, and is an item in science for its traits. Only the first copy of each card in your hand counts towards your maximum hand size. As a reaction, after you draw a copy of a card that is already in your hand, reveal both copies and exhaust Dream Enhancing Serum. Draw one card. Travis, why is this a cool card for Harvey Walters? And also just a lot of people who like big hands. Uh, Harvey likes to have lots of cards in his hand. This lets you have more cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. um, a little dangerous with Thrice Down Curiosity. But where this really shines for Harvey is if you draw a card during the investigation phase with something like, say, um, uh, based on or you can pick yeah. something that you already have a copy of, you can draw an additional card with your Dream Enhancing Serum. Wow. Mm -hmm. You definitely could have drawn that with your No Stone Unturned. But uh, yeah, no, having lots of cards in your hand is good. And if you aren't intending to play some kind of Tome Synergy, then this is probably a superior choice to uh, two cost takes up that main slot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, arcane thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we've been recording a lot today. This is like our our sixth video today. I'm also I'm, I'm experiencing some brain mush as well. Uh, this one's also going to be really good once we get to like 
a lot of these later cards coming up too, where we're like, we're looking at our thrice damn curiosity in the eyes and we're saying, we're not scared of you. I'm going to hold. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. Yeah, I'm holding 21 cards in my hand and you're done. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you aren't looking at a situation where you're taking three or more damage from your thrice stamped curiosity, are you really playing Harvey Walters? Cause like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like this one, the thrice stamped curiosity doesn't care about maximum hand size. So if you had 17 cards in your hand, even though your maximum hand size was only yeah, yeah. seven, it would still deal five damage yeah, it, to you. It cares about how many cards are in yeah. your hand, not how many cards are counted towards your hand size. Juicy. We're 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 getting there, folks. It's gonna be spicy. But exactly, as, as Bryn says, if you're not looking to take three, you should be aiming for your thrice damn curiosity to kill you. That should be your goal with Harvey Walters. Maybe don't follow yeah. that advice, but I've never yeah, played him. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but if you've never spent a turn or two in fear of the fact that if you drew thrice damn curiosity, you might die. Yeah. The true advice for Harvey uh, Walters. You played Harvey. Yeah. The... <laughs> Uh, the true advice for Harvey Walters is just draw your thrice damn curiosity on turn one. All right, let's go on to the next card, which is Ancient Stone. So this is kind of like all of the Ancient Stones, um, but and this is an upgrade card, not including the level one one. Um, I'm going to just read this one here, but like if you're curious, go to ArkhamDB, type in Ancient Stone. It'll show you everything you need to know. This specifically is the one that we think is best with Harvey Walters. It's Knowledge of the Elders. It's a two cost, four experience, item relic asset that takes up the hand slot. Commits for two books. You can only include this asset in your deck by upgrading it from Ancient Stone unidentified and only if you have identified the stone in your campaign log. Uses X secrets where X is a number in parentheses next to the you have identified the stone. As a reaction, when you draw any number of cards, spend that many secrets, deal that much damage to an enemy at your location. If this is from the Forgotten Age. Travis, why is this cool for Harvey Walters? Uh, it cares about the number of cards you draw, and Harvey can draw one more. Mm -hmm. So you can do one more. Yep, one more. And it, that, That's it. that sounds really simple, but one more gets over the hump a lot of the times. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of things get real strong when instead of what they are, they're one more. Yes. <laughs> Wow, I, I just like that because that's so simple but so accurate, right? Like just yeah. one more is a lot more. I don't think I have anything else to say about this one. Just that straightforward. Next up, we got Bulletproof Vest. This is from the core set. It's a two cost, three experience, item armor asset that takes up the body slot. It commits for a fist and a wild, and it just gives you four damage soak. Yeah. Yeah, you put this one into play, and then you get to stare that thrice-damned curiosity right in the eye and tell him, give me your best shot, pal. I can take it. <laughs> I'm ready. So then when Harvey Walters shoots himself in the head, he somehow shoots the bulletproof vest he's wearing instead. For reference of what this card actually does, this card, if my math is right, and I hope to God it is, this stops 12 cards in your hand from hurting you. So, like, you're mm -hmm. set. Yeah. yeah, but we're not stopping at 12, baby. <laughs> we're still going. <laughs> this is only a small little bump into what we're planning on doing. I'm building up to, the, you're going to look at this next card and you're going to be like, really, this is what you've been building up to, Justin? <laughs> Everyone at home is going to be like, oh, God, I got to stop watching this series. Let's get on over. I mean, but Bulletproof Vest, it's cheap. You'll be able to draw cards. It's kind of like Barricade, where because you're seeing more cards, you can like, take advantage of this mm -hmm. and nothing you want is going to compete with the body slot right pretty much pretty much yeah like yep. you'll you'll always you theoretically every time that you see this card once you will also see your thrice damned curiosity once every time you draw through your deck yeah ideally you will see them in the right order <laughs> uh, <laughs> sometimes not that's not such a big deal but this bulletproof fest kind of just removes the teeth from the thrice damn curiosity like what can it do to you now like one damage two damage yep whatever so, all right let's get to our last one which is versatile this is from the dream eaters cycle it's a two cost sorry it's a two experience permanent talent asset so permanent means it's always in play you get plus five deck size. Your investigator's deck building option gains one other level zero card from any class. So this gives you four more seeker cards or neutral, and then one level zero from any other class. 
versatile. You guys have been asking about it a lot. Versatile, it's a bit meme-y, it's a bit wild, right? I think Harvey Walters is probably one of the few investigators, except for maybe Mandy Thompson, where it actually could work, right? Because of the consistency that he provides just through his ability. Now, you're probably wondering, what do we get with this? Well, I think you should get Deny Existence. It's a zero cost from the Circle Undone. Then when you draw an encounter card, you can ignore one aspect of that. When you draw a weakness from your deck, it counts as an encounter card when you are resolving it. So, when your Thrice Damn Curiosity is trying to deal seven damage to you, you can just deny your Curiosity's existence. So you sit on that deny existence, you have that bulletproof vest, you cannot be stopped. You will, no one will stop Harvey Walters. And then you also just have five nope. book to get clues, so do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, this, this card does have kind of a twofold function where like five extra cards in your deck means that you are both taking less horror because you're cycling through your deck less often mm -hmm. uh, while drawing like giant piles of cards. Also, you are less likely to draw your thrice stamped Curiosity because you have five more cards in your deck. Yep. But also, you can take all kinds of neat cards to mitigate your thrice stamped Curiosity, mm -hmm. such as Deny Existence or mm -hmm. Quantum Flux, mm -hmm. which yep. is also really cool in Harvey because it costs one and shuffles your discard pile back into your deck and then draws you a card. That's what Travis so. did when we had <laughs> ours and he did Versatile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, versatile. Uh, like we, I, I, we, I see your comments about it. I don't know how much like we're gonna do. Like maybe one day we'll do a versatile focused run, right? But like we probably won't make a lot of content specifically about versatile unless you guys like keep asking for it. And if you do keep asking for it, we we still might consider it. But it just the problem with versatile is it doesn't work with like every investigator because plus five cards doesn't seem like a big difference, but it actually like really is and. Consistency is key to winning, and Versatile unfortunately kills that, that consistency a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sick! Next week, we got five cool... No, not next week, it might be... On a Sunday coming up, because our Sunday is our rotating block on this channel, we're going to have five cool cards for Winifred Habamuck coming out. So that's going to be... A good time. And then we got five cool cards for Jacqueline Fine, which is they're all just purple cards. And purple cards are boring, but we'll still find five <laughs> cool cards, probably, hopefully. Uh, maybe we'll just put Versatile in it again and just be like, oh, no, <laughs> grab, <laughs> grab yeah. Dream Enhancing Serum. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. You guys have a good rest of your Sunday or whatever day it is when you're watching this video. Leave a comment down below if you think there's any cool cards that we missed. Uh, and... Uh, as always, have a good one, and GG's.